just thought to express our gratitude for this collaboration <clears throat> even today and in this moment it just feels like this is really what we're able to join in and that's why the whole thing came together in you know a week the only reason that everything seems so seamless and so effortless and it seems like the spirit totally down through us is because we somehow just join in this purpose mm -hmm. and this purpose of unforgive uh, of forgiveness oh no <laughs> <laughs> no we wouldn't be getting anywhere then no. <laughs> <laughs> i want to say unwavering forgiveness that's it. not unforgiveness it's unwavering forgiveness <laughs> and there's you know it's, it's not a little bit of this and a little bit of that because we can't really join when the purpose is is split there's there's no joining in in anything unless our purpose underneath it is unified and that's why Jesus says make this year different by making it all the same. And the only thing that we can make it all the same underneath all events, all situations, and, and all encounters is the underlying purpose. That's what we can choose. That is what we have power for. We can choose the purpose. And nothing, no events, no situation, no people, nothing external to us can take away that power for us to choose the purpose of this very moment. And that is what we give to this moment. So beautiful because, yeah, I woke this morning and just thinking what an honor that we have the tools to be happy that you know that we've been given the tools from Jesus and this Christmas the the gift of being able to apply it that we have all we've been given all the tools and just like the red pill and the blue pill it's like is there a choice <coughs> you know like we get to practice being happy over and over and over and over again and also uh, being able to allow the darkness and the thoughts and beliefs to come to the surface and really experience the Holy Spirit healing. And, uh, you know, it just amazes me continually just the, the gift that we've been given to come together just to practice that, to look at our own thoughts and take responsibility for that. So I feel like this is the gift of Christmas that we've been given even in our relationships. You know, this whole mystery school really isn't about a school. It's about us coming into the presence together and really a direct experience of feeling the grace of God and, and the love and, and, and living in the Tabula Rasa. And the fruit of that is joy. Because yes. I, I really see even for the mystery school, Right here, you know, this project came in totally unexpected to anyone. And everybody got in, throw themselves into it, not really knowing what is expected of them, <laughs> you know, what is going to be brought up in this process. But with this huge yes, I just saw a lot of joy, you know. And that's, that's really what the gift of us coming together is we're coming together just just be sh certain that we're having this willingness to forgive mm -hmm. that's all we know and we can leave everything else up to the spirit mm -hmm. and we just show up we just show up and we have shown up and then day by day moment by moment everything unfolds so I also feel like this is this is why we're here with you, because 
we are this huge family together wherever you are. And if you want to be part of it, we really don't know the curriculum of the next mystery school or any mystery school, but it's actually very surprising to, to all of us and it's just very individualized curriculum shows up given to us once you say yes to it, so. Right, and just, you know, even our healing, I just feel like the grace is really for us too as facilitators just not knowing and just being in that prayer together and, and continually being amazed. I'm like, you know, oh, each day is given by the Spirit and just so perfectly given for, for everyone, what everyone needs. And just watching it every day, it's like, it's amazing. Because there is no plan. There was no plan even for this Christmas program. And just watching the amazement of just everyone saying yes to the Spirit. I actually feel this Christmas is very, very symbolic. This Christmas lands on a Saturday where the whole day is laid in front of us. For all of us, you know, we have a Spirit-given movie. We have David coming in to to inject every once in a while to explain what is showing up on the screen. And, and the spirit is basically saying, I got this, I'm gonna undo every single thing you have around Christmas. Everything you think Christmas is associated with that, didn't, that has, did not bring you joy. If it is associated with a body, a death of a body, a birth of a body, <laughs> eating of the body, whatever, you know, family coming together, body coming together, anything that is not around this moment, a choice in the mind in this moment, I'm gonna turn it all around to see that there is, there, there are encounters that the spirit is going to arrange for us and it's effortless. So it's beautiful. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I found that that this has just been an opportunity for me to to extend and be with the spirit. So I'm grateful. And as a lead into our next uh, or last offering, which is a combo dance and song, as we've been getting into this joy together this past week, we've had ego backlashes and they've been fully allowed because they have to come up and then we're all like, what's going on? Oh yeah, we were so happy yesterday, that's all, that's, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it's like an ego hangover, you know? Yeah. You get, it's like all this joy and it <laughs> flushes everything up. And then we're like, okay, let's go again. And like, <laughs> again, <laughs> full rehearsal this time. <laughs> and, and it's so experiential, actually it, it's good to, to know how to move through the ego backlash because we, we're not used to that. When we got so happy and the next day we dip into, oh my God, what is happening here? And we don't even need to know what is happening. The ego is not idle. The ego is not gonna say, yeah, go find the spirit and I'm gonna leave you alone. The ego is not gonna come back in any way. But the, the, the you know, what the purpose of us joining together here is to know how to find the spirit. And it's really in every moment, the spirit is right here offering a solution. So I think for us, the ego backlash is fine. We know it's gonna happen and it happens for everybody. But then what we're here to do is not letting it become mm. something to stop us moving forward with the spirit. And as we just keep moving, we, we realize, wow, it's like a dark cloud just passes by, you know? That gives us a new understanding, really, what, what the ego is, is, is really not solid. Mm. Yeah, in the beginning, we, when it would happen, everyone would go apart, but now we all want to be together when it's happening mm, to yeah. go through it, so. Yeah.